Hello guys, how are you everyone? So, let's continue. In the first video we talked about, I talked about a little bit about Ubuntu and Linux in general. Let's have a look at the real thing. The, uh, if, as you can see, hmm, so we have a panel here. I don't know what, what they call it. What's the name of this? So, basically, on this panel, you have all your favorites application pinned. So, you can attach any uh, shortcut of your favorite application here. Just for, for quicker, for a quicker access, open run, running of your application. For example, I have Firefox web browser. I have uh, the default file manager. Uh, I have a text editor which is like a notepad. I have LibreOffice Writer which is like Microsoft Office. I have System Monitor. So a little, uh, I just recently installed this Ubuntu and customized it a little bit. Mm. Uh, then I have these are hard drive partitions as you can see. And if you hover through different icons, if there are by default, if you have many more icons, then it will stack up like this. On and if you just hover up, and it gives you, you can scroll through all the icons easily. So it's a nice, easy interface. Just like on Mac, you have the what do you, what do you call it on here at the bottom. On Ubuntu, they choose to put it on your left site so they try to keep it different but it's okay we don't mind here on top so these are all your applications and what is this the first button the first button is actually you can think of the uh, if we compare with windows is the start button of windows is the main menu where all your applications you can find all your applications as well as recently used applications and files and things like that so basically and i have added to customize a little bit here this is i will talk about this later and here your recycle bin a shortcut to your recycle bin all the deleted files will come here so what is this? The top panel. The top panel shows maybe on the top left it could show it can maybe it will show the name of the currently running application but not necessarily and on your right you have some icons showing different uh, status of different devices for example your battery status and in volume control for your sound and the language settings for your keyboard like you can select different keyboard language from here and your here you can guess this is the network connection connectivity like wireless wi-fi uh, ethernet all the network connectivities you can connect or disconnect for example i'm connected to this wi-fi now then you can go edit connections to change the settings of the connections you can add new connect you can then you can click connection information to see the information of the currently connected uh, network for example i have wi-fi mac address the driver being used for this wi-fi uh, device and speed of this Wi-Fi connection, IP address, broadcast address, as you can see all the information. So basic information, if you want to know about network, you can find it here. Close it. If you look at the style of Ubuntu window, man, all your close window control buttons, for example, close, minimize, on the left of the title bar so you have title bar and you have close is similar to i guess mac apple os but again okay, is opposite of windows definitely so now 
as you can see on the panel uh, taskbar or whatever you call it they call it it shows okay I have this running and it shows up here I can pin it locked by lock to the launcher that this will pin this and it shows the name of the application I can quit it I can close it from here I can close the window from here as well I can move the icon around like this easy drag and drop then I can if I drag the panel itself I can see all the applications I have so just you get it now I have installed this clipboard manager which shows all the Mm, yes, like history of the text file I have copied is it's a nice clipboard uh, manager called Clip It. So you can download or install it from the software man center easily from Ubuntu Software Center. Then I have this uh, desktop recorder running. So you get this panel is like a notification area about different things and also a status of different hardwires you have calendar here one time shows the calendar time if you click on the time it shows the calendar and also and add here the gear button shows is like a setting yes. and here you can find things like shut down suspend so this is the area where you can like actually to do something with your like um, desktop in general shut down suspend log out you can select the switch between users now this is the user you have a gas station you can lock this I can lock if I want to for example lock now <clears throat> in the lock screen you can see it shows the same thing same as style notification area and okay I'm locked come back seven minutes running okay so you get it so the first thing maybe I would do after I install Ubuntu so anyway this is the latest version of Ubuntu this is if uh, in the about computer about this computer I'm using Ubuntu 15.04 I'm using 64 bit and this is my system spec it runs fairly swift it's, it's just a Celeron Intel computer Intel Bay Trail I have got only 3 4 gigabyte of memory so it's running quite good the first thing I do after installing one tool I'd like I do change a little bit something for example this is the file manager open the file manager so when you open the file manager it takes you to the home folder anyway for any application uh, you will see by default uh, the menu the menu of the application by default will show up on this top panel but I change it to no, 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 change it to the menu like that you need to like the menu should show here at the title bar of the window application window itself because I this easier I think it's easier I prefer um, I find it easier for to be for the menu to be here then every time for every application I will rather than going on top panel so if you want the menu to be here within the application so you can do it by 
if you go right button on the desktop I'll show you change desktop background now if you go the behavior show the menus for the window where to show the menu for the window if each application got a menu <clears throat> for example this application has its own menu and this application has its own menu so you can show the, that menu in the windows title bar like I choose it now it's showing in the all in the menu bar so they call it in, in here so I select it in the menu bar now it's not showing here it's showing up here but I find it inconvenient to go every time here to find all the menus so that's why I selected in the windows title bar <clears throat> notice if I select this one this looks similar to watch which operating system yes Mac Apple OS that's why um, I think the default to reserve the uniqueness of Ubuntu they should select choose set this one as default but I don't know this is not the default now the other thing I prefer about this panel if you have a small screen like me this notebook <clears throat> I prefer this to be hidden by default and for example you can select auto hide the launcher they call it launcher all the application so now it's all showing up all the time but I don't want it so I select auto hide the launcher and it will hide if I am working with some uh, something else if I move my mouse cursor on the left and keep moving it will reveal the launcher then I can do whatever I want if I move my mouse away it will again go hide hiding so you can select the sensitivity of this how the launcher will appear how fast or when you move your mouse like how much pressure you have to put like how much you have to move your mouse cursor to for the launcher to reveal so I put it high because I don't want to waste my you know mouse energy whatever just touch and reveal just touch on the edge and reveal so I put it to high but if you don't like it you can still change it to something else okay move back to the so the one good thing Ubuntu is very efficient I find it the space saving because putting the icons and menu in the title bar of the window application is convenient I mean it's very space saving how much time I have okay how far I think it's space saving if you have a small computer a small screen so this would be best then again Ubuntu is a space saving for example if you maximize your application the window title bar will merge with the actual panel top panel isn't it nice also again even the controls of the window even the menu so everything is much so it's again a space saving you can minimize like usual and see here is a small little triangle is showing that this application is now running these are not running so I have this screen cast screen recorder running this is running if I click it again it will appear mm, right. so now I will click the restore button to move back but you can do maximizing by just dragging on top you can okay I will talk about this later maybe so now as you can see 
I think uh, in the next video I will talk about I will continue Ubuntu desktop thank you